our mind, we have been very focused on this lineage of cells, right? Monocyte, macrophage, dendritic cells, and yet, uh, you know, I've been interested in, uh, you know, there's a big focus on cancer, but beyond cancer, we, my lab and, and in fact, colleagues in the same field, uh, we are looking at, at many other disease uh, states, including inflammatory disease, but also metabolomic disease, etc. This is just because these resident immune cells uh, are really part of every disease lesion, all in every single disease, uh, uh, disease site, you know, whether it is diabetes, atherosclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, you see an accumulation of immune cells. Immune cells are always reacting, uh, 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 reacting to injury. So any type of disease, if there is any type of damage, regardless of the cause, you will have this accumulation first of this macrophage and dendritic cells and monocytes that I study, and, 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 this is, uh, and then those will recruit additional immune cells that I will talk about in a minute in the context of the tumor microenvironment. But this realization really for me, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an MD by training, right? I'm an, an oncologist, in fact, I was training in Paris as an oncologist, and then I moved to, to the state. And, but, but this realization to me is, is just extraordinary because we realize that, in fact, modulating the immune system can have an impact on every single human disease. You know, and, uh, and I can discuss that at the end because I think it has, it, in, in fact, it has consequences that I had not anticipated enough, I think, earlier in my career.